Oh, hey. Welcome to my closet office. I thought that would be cooler, but mostly it's just embarrassing. Hi. If we haven't met before, my name's Casey. I'm a web designer and developer. I work specifically in Webflow. I love Webflow and around maybe this time last year, Webflow came out with their apps marketplace. Basically just a lot of really cool new functionality to add on to Webflow itself. I didn't start using most apps until recently, mostly just because you had to, for most apps, like go out of the designer and then come back in. But for a lot of them now, you can just upload them within the designer and it's a really fast process to start using them. And in that, I have found that there are some apps I use like all the time. A lot of the apps in the marketplace are really specific to certain projects, but I do feel like there are certain ones that can really speed up your workflow and you can use it in pretty much any project. So I'm going to focus on those today so that you can uh, start using it. The first one, this might be obvious to people, but SVG import. I love SVG import. I use it pretty much on every single project. The whole thing with this app is you copy an SVG from Figma or for wherever else and you can paste it in and it uploads to Webflow as a SVG custom element. When the custom element block in Webflow came out, I found that I wasn't really using it very much, mostly just because old habits die hard, but with the plugin, it's so much easier to have the SVG element on the canvas rather than stuck in an embed. It's way easier to change out the colors, um, add in variable for color, things like that, and also specifically like change the sizing. Also in the plugin you can choose whether or not to switch to current color for the fill or stroke or both. Way easier to manipulate the size of the SVGs this way. Uh, Chef Kiss. Another simple but useful one I use on a lot of projects is the Better Shadows plugin. This was one of the first plugins that came out. It was definitely like needed, I think, in a lot of ways, so I'm super grateful for it. Obviously, I don't use shadows on every single project, but this plugin makes it way easier to create really beautiful shadow effects on a page. If you're ever looking at a designer's like shadows in Figma, or if you design them yourselves, you usually know that you need like a couple layers of shadows to really achieve like a nice effect. And that can be kind of tedious on its own, but with this app, it's way easier to just visualize it within the plugin and then set it to a custom class and then be able to use that class on anything you need a shadow for. And that's the way I usually use this plugin in particular. I'll assign it to like a global shadow class and that way I can reuse that shadow and I don't have to like make a new shadow class every time. Chef Kiss. The third one uh, I have to shout out because I use it a lot is Slater. Slater is like the better Webflow specific version of a code sandbox file, but it also comes with AI. I can keep my JavaScript in Slater, link it to Webflow, and then any JavaScript changes I make, I can make them in Slater and I don't have to republish Webflow every single time. And to be honest, I didn't really use the Webflow like in designer app for Slater all that much. I kind of liked to have it in a separate tab, just like personal preference thing. But one of the things I have been using it in the designer for more recently is for like really small snippets of code where I don't want to go to chat GPT. Slater's big thing is they have the AI uh, like chat built into the interface. So I can just ask Slater for a snippet of code in there and then just grab it from there and pull it onto my page. I don't have to set up a JavaScript environment if I don't want to. It's just all there in the app, which is really nice. Chef kiss. Those are my main three, but I did want to honorable mention a new app that's out that I can see myself using a lot. I think it just came out like a week ago, um, but it's Asset Bay by the great and uh, honorable Web Bay. I wanted to mention this one because we have been needing this kind of app. It's basically like an upgraded version of the assets panel that lets you rename files, lets you change a bunch of alt text all at once, and also lets you use AI to add in alt text, which is huge. I'm really excited to keep diving into this one. I think it's really needed. I can totally see myself using this on projects, so excited to see where this one goes. Chef kiss, chef kiss to all of these apps. I hope this was helpful and I hope this um, makes you not afraid to use the Webflow app store. <laughs> There's lots of new stuff coming out there all the time and a lot of it can really speed up your projects, might be exactly what you're looking for. So uh, let me know in the comments if there's any that you use all the time that I have missed. Uh, would love to check those out too. Uh, that's it.
Bye.